good morning. We are in a district in Jamaica called Manig, which from all accounts was named by the Spanish Managua, Mountain of Water, or Water Mountain. And um, en route towards a lake, what is known as the Monique Lakes. But as we journey towards the lake, what we are seeing now, this relatively lush green strip of land, was up until two weeks ago parched brown beard in such a way that persons who are acquainted with Monique over the years myself including being acquainted with her for over 20 years would have been stating publicly that the severity of drought that has hit this place has never before seen. Everyone was in shock as to how dry and parched all this area was up to about two weeks ago. So severe was it that persons were, even persons who were not so keen on the idea of climate change and global warming were starting to say this thing, this phenomenon is definitely real because they would have never in their lifetime, I'm talking about 20 years, there were citizens here who has cattle who would have lived here for more than 50 years who would say they've never seen it like this. Now we are about to embark in an area as I stated earlier known as the Monique Lakes. Some of it started over that area um, which now which look all forestry disturbed forest area and extended to where I am heading. What we have seen is beyond anyone who is affiliated with Monique's imagine wildest imagination. I will pause here. Had I known that it would have been required for us to do this movie I certainly would have started videoing from I first came here and then look at the videoing now to show the before and after effect and to and to and to also allow you to hear some of the the testimony of many who are not really so a fee or even really interested in the idea of a climate change, global warming phenom effect. And to hear them speak about how they have never ever seen. Now, you'd notice that I am stuck in a particular area and there's further to go. And I'm going to zoom in on it. That area that you're seeing all green and grass forms part of the Manig Lake that for many of us it was beyond our wildest dream that we'd be looking at it now and there's no water. So all that lowland area is supposed to be lake and a tributary. You can still see some effects of the tributary channel but no water.
So here we are at another angle, looking at what was part of the lake area and looking into the tributary channel to see the low merindering water flow that once fed into a lake area for which we are going and it used to serve as especially for the farmers for the cattle herders cattle rearers to feed the cattle um, they had many cows and it also was an area for fishing for the the local youths until recently two weeks ago when we started having um, some very good afternoon showers all this area was patch brown dry and you could walk through this tributary I know it will be hard for you to imagine that all this area there are some reeds there that all this area that I'm showing you was once filled with water all of it was a lake that cows used to drink water from young boys used to swim and fish and I'm speaking before now up to last time I came here was last year September in fact I left here at the end of October last year and I came back September 7th this year and when I came back this is what I came back to that that uh, tree that we are zooming in the tree it was covered covered with with the water so I'm going to end I'm going to walk now into the lake or what used to be the lake and here I am standing in the middle of the lake up to a year ago this would have been impossible here I am in the lake you can still see some reeds now the tributary that I had recorded earlier would feed into this lake it is now safe to say that all that water has gone is only supplying underground supplying the groundwater and this area that once was thought to be was never even conceived in anybody's mind that it would have been dried up as it is now is now nothing but dry land so what are we talking about this is just but one of the many examples of the clear and explicit indicators that climate change global warming and its effect are are real and not perceived this here is one of the money lakes where i'd started to where i'd started the recording earlier and showing you over the disturbed forest area would have had two of the lakes and it would have seen that everything fed into this one 
large lake area or they are interconnected but like this those two other lake areas are just as dry as this is this I could not have done this once it would have been impossible for me to be standing here turning around trotting through like this there used to be fishes here there used to be swimming that takes place here and cattle used to drink water from here and I can speak to up to the 29th of October 2014 you could have done that here here looking at what seem almost want to look like the effects of desertification all this was once the lake So I'm Capitan and that's my video showing the explicit indication of the effect of climate change in the Monique era which is a Spanish came in from uh, came out of the Spanish word Managua meaning mountain of water and behind me was once up to a year ago a relatively large by Jamaican standard lake the disturbed forest area that I spoke of during the initial journey is over this side and over here we once had lakes small lakes of water just not as large as the one that I was in previously but all this area used to be water and as you can see it's that sunken area is pretty much dry right along the fringes of the tree i don't know if you'll notice that there is a a natural waterway leads beyond the, the fringes of the trees and down there used to be the lake this can't zoom in as much can't get over this fence right now but that area as you can see right there um, the fog is thick but I can tell you there's no longer any water there 